Bam. Hello, hello, hello. Today's gonna be a nice little update video, not only here on Twitch, but also on my YouTube channel. Now to talk to y'all about the past couple weeks, there's been a lot. You guys know that I traveled one day to New York City to be able to do the Alex Ryder promo with the entire Spicecape event, which was crazy, by the way. I also got to travel to San Diego for San Diego Comic-Con to work with HBO Max. And I was gonna go to San Diego Comic-Con regardless, but then my brand manager checked in with me and was like, hey, HBO Max is looking for cosplay creators to collaborate with. I'm like, absolutely. You guys saw I got to meet John Cena, which was amazing. Wanting to do the social media stuff full time has been a blessing. And I feel like it's definitely manifested itself. We've worked hard. We've posted a lot of videos. I say we. Obviously, we've got a really great team of creators that I live with. Gabs has been a great assistant, helping me to stay on track with things. We have knocked almost every single brand deal that has come either from my manager or from my email that I've sent to my manager. We've knocked it out of the park, got it done. We've made the brands extremely happy, which is a blessing in itself because getting to know these representatives, these big brands, these big companies that hire creators to come and vlog or come and make promo content or do transition videos or trend videos for their events to make a great friendship with them to make a great relationship with them is a massive bonus and a massive plus because it brings us more opportunities so to say that i do social media full time is amazing and i was saying that when we were just doing twitch streaming and having the main source of income be from twitch streams which you guys know i've taken many times to say thank you all for and i will always say thank you guys but now it's brand deals which sometimes is a blessing to say teddy oh my god teddy what the heck 3,000 bits. Teddy, what are you doing with all those biddies out here? My gracious, Teddy. But sincerely, guys, I'm at a point where I have quite literally been almost like flooded with brand videos. And it's a great thing. I gotta tell you all, it is something that I will always be super grateful and feel the most balanced when I have continuous work coming in. Disney fan, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my God. Go, go, Brower Rangers. Bah, 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 bah. Go, go, Brower Rangers. Bah, 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 bah. Go, go, Brower Rangers. Body Morphin Brower Rangers. What the heck, you guys? Listen, hey, 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 hey. What is that, Marilyn? Marilyn, what is that with the 5,000 bits? What are y'all doing? Wait a second. Hold the phone. What are y'all doing out here? What is that? No. No, it's not. <laughs> Music set coming up. Oh, my God. Go, go, Brower Rangers. Bow, bow, bow. Go, go, Brower Rangers. What is that, Disney fan? 2,700 bits. Whoa. I've missed y'all too, you guys, but what the heck, fam? Hey, yo. Guys, what is good? What are y'all out here doing? My body is warm. My heart rate has gone up. What are y'all doing? Through yet? Am I missing it? No. We did. Teddy Terror, another 15 gifted subs. Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend in a world we must defend. Um, thank you, Teddy. Thank you, guys. Y'all have uh, demolished the hype train. Whoa, 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 whoa. Teddy, no, Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, what are you doing? Another 20 gifted subs. Ah. Oh. Y'all have taken my breath away today. Like, what? Yo, Teddy Terror. Hello. Hi. Thank you. My plans for the stream have gone out the window. I'm just here existing. Wow, 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 chat. Thank y'all. I'm literally mind boggled, bamboozled, mind melted. What? I felt so bad from being away from stream, you guys. But to be honest, it's been one of those things where like moving here to LA selfishly, it's been a, the biggest focus on where can I make sure that financially I'm stable and I'm doing enough work things and, uh, and acting things. I had a conversation with Gabs recently just saying like, look, all these brand deal videos, I know it's a lot and it's taking up a lot of my posts right now on Instagram and TikTok. But to be able to do the social media full time and then be able to take that to really pursue acting full on and be able to work from home has been such a blessing, you guys. So please understand that while I've been away from Twitch for a little bit, I have 
haven't made too many of my own TikTok type posts in a minute. It's because of good things. There is a lot of great action opportunities that are being done. I've been so blessed to work with King Vader over the past few months on two different projects as a pretty great featured role in both with speaking lines that's going to be able to go on my IMDb, it's going to be able to go on my acting resume. I've got to meet somebody amazing who, as of right now, it's drawing itself out to be an amazing acting opportunity in January when I get back from my family trip, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. It's been crazy. Moving to LA has been amazing. It's been a wild roller coaster and there's literally only so much I can give my time to. And I'm still working on making time for hanging out with friends. It's been a blessing. It's been amazing. I love the chaos. I thrive in chaos really, really well. I'm so grateful for all the things happening. I'm grateful for the people around me. I know there's so many more great things to come. I'm very excited about this acting project in January. I can't say too much about it. Fingers crossed going to be the lead of this project. It's not my project to share information about yet. Sage, I must ask, is a hard being so awesome? It's... My life has been a roller coaster of a lot of really, really great things and some not so great things. And I'm grateful for having grown up the way I grew up, experienced the friendships, the ups and downs of, of growing up the way I did. I'm grateful for the downs in my life, the sad times, the hard times, because it's made me who I am today. And if that makes me an awesome person, that is amazing. I'm so grateful to hear that. I consider myself like Lonnie to be a super extrovert, which means I love giving and giving and giving and giving to people. And I'm actually recharged socially, typically by being around a lot of people. And it's not too often that I need just time by myself, but I'm finding more and more that I do need some more time by myself, not in a bad way, but just sincerely because LA has so many nonstop opportunities that it will feel like a roller coaster. You know, if I don't take time to myself and make my own fun TikTok content or do my trends or do more of my Lucifer stuff, you know, I miss it. I miss it. The brand deals and stuff are amazing. And I'm so grateful for having that financial support in my life because, you know, like I've said before, my dad's my financial planner. And to be able to hear him and my mom both say that they're proud of me for the social media stuff I'm doing while also making time for the acting auditions like to know that I'm able to do exactly what I want to do you guys and I'm pursuing acting which is as you all know exactly what I want to do with my life while doing something else that I also love it's such a blessing you guys and y'all make that y'all 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 helped make the move to LA possible y'all helped make everything that's happening now possible and I'm extremely grateful for all of that sincerely wow a lot of cool things, a lot of amazing things. So many collaborations that have happened, you guys. Again, traveling, brand opportunities, acting opportunities. Shout out to King Vader. You guys, if you aren't on his YouTube channel, his Instagram, his social media, please make sure you are doing so. And that's a major shout out as well to Doc and to Lonnie. Lonnie first met Vader and Doc back in Orlando when I was back in Florida. And Lonnie introduced me to Doc. Doc and I met on a collaboration day with our buddy Tim. Doc and I ended up having like a freaking two hour conversation in the garage after all that. And since then, have just become such great friends. You guys remember how like Lonnie was the unofficial roommate back in Florida? It's almost like Doc's been the unofficial roommate here at the house in LA. And it's just been amazing. It's one of those things, you guys, if I can share one piece of advice today, it is to be kind and take time for others. You guys are taking the time to take opportunities, take risks that you really feel are pulling at your heartstrings that could be a good opportunity, a good chance to connect. Please do it. Please do it, you guys. One more example I'll give is a few weeks ago, if not a, a month or so ago, I was supposed to be taking a Sunday off from doing anything and just chill. I ended up getting an opportunity to go be an influencer as an actor extra in the background of a, another influencer's pilot for a TV show he's trying to kick off. I, against some people's suggestions, said, yes, I'm still gonna go to this and meet people. And I went and spent like three hours and I got to go meet the cast, got to meet the crew. I didn't end up getting to be in the uh, scene because it ended up being a SAG project, which is super exciting. I just stuck around. I hung out with some of the crew, got to meet some of them. I got to meet a lot of the cast afterwards. It was the final scene they were filming for their first episode. I've made friends with the majority of them now. So all these people I've connected with and met have been fantastic human beings. And I took that risk to be there because I stuck around and spent my time just having great human conversations with the whole team that was there on set that day. Bobby has mentioned wanting to write me into the series moving forward. And I'm just like, this is why you take the time. This is why you take those risks. This is why you make those efforts and invest, you know, not just love, but kindness and time into people. It's not about investing the time and effort and love, hoping to get a benefit back, but you also never know just by sharing that human kindness and love towards others. If you're pursuing your dreams and you're really giving as much as you possibly can to it while repeating that it's important to take the time for yourself, whatever you believe in, for me, it's God. I know God's gonna keep opening doors as long as I take steps forward. If you believe in the universe or energy, those doors will keep opening as long as you take steps forwards, even if they feel risky sometimes. Make sure you guys are really pursuing it. Even if right now, all you can give to your hobby or your passion or your dream is just 15 minutes of your time every single day because you have to work a nine to five and everything else to stay financially afloat. I get it, but start there. I started TikTok literally doing 15 minutes
minutes a day to do just trends or the Lucifer transitions while I was in New Jersey having to do catering and pursuing acting auditions and modeling castings. And this is not me saying it was that a terrible life, but I started it as a hobby, as something fun that a friend of mine, Mel Weary, convinced me to do. It's once you get started, let it snowball and keep going. If it's something that you love, it is worth it and you are worth it and your dreams and your passions and your hopes and your expectations for life are worth it. Go for it. Why not? We have one life to live. Even if realistically you can only give a little bit of your time every single day, you can make it happen. I trust and believe that you can. Brow Rangers, thank you all for coming through for this update video. Life's been amazing. It's been crazy good and it's been busy in all the best ways possible. I do believe that finding that balance, finding that breath of life to make sure that everything stays as organized as possible getting things done as efficiently as possible is possible we just got to work on that so brow rangers i love y'all this is the first time on my youtube channel like subscribe share all that fun stuff if you guys have <coughs> whoa if you guys have school this week you guys know the drill study hard get the best grades you possibly can you can pursue the college or career of your future whichever comes first and speaking of your career if you have work this week knock your responsibilities out of the park so you can enjoy the rest of your week and your free time whatever that means to you i love you guys and i'll see y'all real soon deuces everybody